Hi YouTube family and welcome into today's video which I am so pleased to be bringing you is a very requested video about concealing under eye dark circles. In a minute you're going to see me with just foundation on, my eyebrows done and that is about it and we're going to tackle this under eye area. I do want to say just a couple of things to you before we start though. Please remember that as you're aging, you're not going to have everything be absolutely smooth and absolutely perfect. And I feel like this is such an important thing for me to say because I am not trying to make you feel like it can be absolutely perfect because I know that my eyes, my under eyes aren't absolutely perfect. So I want you just to remember that this video is specifically about taking care of dark circles and not having it crease. But I still have texture and I still have wrinkles underneath my eyes and I have pretty deep ones. And I know that if I were to have procedures done where I you know, maybe had Botox put right here or fillers put right here, it might help with those. But unless I go under the knife or I get that kind of thing done, I'm still gonna have that to deal with. So I just want you guys to realize that you're beautiful even if you do have them. We work with what we have and really our confidence shows through when we just feel the best that we can feel. Let's get into the video so that you can see how I conceal my dark circles from Hades. They're horrible, they're bad. So let's get into it. What I want to show you before this gets started is how pronounced my dark circles are, but also my wrinkles under my eyes. I don't have any way that miraculously will get rid of them. I'm not here to tell you that I do. These are things that I have tried and that I do my best with. Okay, to start with, what I'm going to tell you is that even before you touch a concealer, a color corrector, anything, you have to moisturize. And I moisturize the crap out of my under eyes. Now, if you have uh, oily skin, this might not be a problem for you, but I have super duper dry skin right here. It's really dry and that's the reason that it's so crepey is because my whole life I've had very dry skin. So recently I found the Sukiyaka Suhada urea moisture eye cream and i love this stuff so so i will use this two three times in the morning and it really does plump up plump up that area as much as is possible and plumping that up is so important so really pat that in if you want to you can pat it on your eyelids if you have really bad creasing problems during the day you might not want to do that the next step is using just a tiny bit and when i say a tiny bit i really seriously mean a tiny bit of a primer that has a little bit of a silicone in it, but not tons of silicone because the silicone is still going to, you know, accentuate those fine lines. So I use this one that I'm really liking from Rimmel. It's the Lasting Finish Breathable Primer. And I have been using that and I really like it. And what you do is you just use a teeny tiny bit over top of that moisturizer so that it can lock that moisturizer in place and you can you know keep the moisture from wicking away during the day and you know go ahead and just pat that in as well now for my eyeshadow primer i'm doing something a little bit different this takes care of the discoloration on the top i actually have two products you don't have to use two products but i do just because the discoloration is so bad now if i didn't have a mac painterly paint pot that's the first thing i'm going in with I'm just using this up, it's not my favorite, but if I didn't have this, I would actually just use my concealer. So I'm just trying to take care of this discoloration across here. Now the other one I'm going in with is from Wonder 2 Cosmetics, and um, this is called Wonder 2 Prime and Behold. It has a little bit of a luminosity, which I really do like, and again, this isn't like my favorite in the whole wide world, and you're gonna see that it's really goopy and nasty. It's because I was trying to use up the end and I took the stopper out, and I just ended up with a little bit of goop going on. So I'm just gonna put some of that on. This one I really like because it I can feel it immediately set down everything. And the other reason I like it so much is because it does have that luminosity that helps to brighten this skin and the area where it's so dark and really shows up some nasty shadows. You guys, if you've watched any of my videos, you know that I use the Maybelline Master Camo color correctors. And since my circles are so dark, I use the one that's in apricot. The reason that I like this so much is 
twofold, not only does it cover really well and it hides those or, you know, cancels out the color, the discoloration, it also is a really thin formula and it's not excessively creamy. And why I want that is because I don't want it mixing with my concealer. You have it mixed with your concealer, then your concealer is just going to look orange and you're going to look weird. And what I will do is I will just dot it right there where those terrible lines are. And now once I get it on there, then I'm going to spread it out with my ring finger and just take care of all that discoloration. Now, if you feel like you've gotten too much on there, um, sometimes I feel like that, I just continue to dot it with my finger and I'll clean my finger off with a towel just until I feel like I've got the right amount on there. So after I get that on, I get it patted across, I let it sit there and kind of, you know, meld with the rest of the moisturizer and the primer that's going on there. I just kind of let it just sink in so that it's not moving around at all. I'm going to be doing my eye makeup and then I'll be right back with you. Okay, eyes are done. What I want to tell you at this point is, is that when I get all of my makeup done, it's going to look better and it's not going to draw so much attention to that under eye. And I also want you guys to think about something. When you're standing this far away, I'm like, I'm like four feet away from the camera at this point. When you're standing that far away from somebody, they're not going to be going, oh my gosh, look at her under eyes. They look so bad. What an they're not going to be doing that. So when you stand in front of a mirror and you look at your under eyes and you go, that looks terrible. You are being very critical of yourself. Remember that aging is beauty. It is not something to be ashamed of. I have three concealers. The first one that I want to tell you about is the Tarte Creaseless. This is an extremely emollient concealer. So if you use this on your own, this is going to settle into your fine lines and your wrinkles under your eyes, which is why I don't use it alone. But I'm going to put a dot of that on each side in order to, and I'm going to bring it down just a little bit because I have a lot of redness right there. And then I'm going to use two other concealers. And the reason that I'm telling you about different concealers is this is the Too Faced Born This Way, the Conceal, Contour, and Highlight, which I really, really like. This is in the color Vanilla. And then this one is the, the Makeup Revolution Super Size Conceal and Define. They are really good as far as their coverage goes, but both of these are a little bit more drying than that particular one that I just put on my face from Tarte. Um, and I also want to say at this point, use as little as you possibly can. I just put a dot on there because that doe foot is really saturated and that's all I'm gonna do on this one. I'm just gonna use a dot. Now, if you need more later, you can go in later, but to start off with, don't use too much. So I'm gonna start down here on my cheeks where I have all that discoloration to try and work that out a little bit. It's actually not gonna be that much difference between the two eyes. It's gonna be more about the way you put it on, the way you set it. Those two concealers are really, really close. Now, as I'm patting this across, I'm gonna go up into the cavern in here inside my nose. There's always a lot of darkness up there and I'm going to bring that out right there towards the tail end of my eye or the corner of my eye out there because there's a ton of darkness out there as well. Now, I'm just working this around and I'm really, really pouncing my finger in and I'm just, you know, the warmth of my finger, the warmth of my face, those two things together are really going to help those meld and look really pretty good as far as the under eye goes. Now I'm gonna switch fingers to my ring finger on this side and I'm gonna do the same thing. And again, I'm just bouncing. Now, the reason that I don't ever pull my finger across like this is that once you do that, then the color corrector underneath is gonna get mixed with your concealer and you're gonna have a mess and you're gonna hate your look. No hating of your look today. <laughs> we are just pouncing our finger or bouncing our finger across and then we're gonna take a look. Now, all of that discoloration is gone. It is just, it's wiped away and I feel like it looks fresher, it looks like I'm more awake, it doesn't look like I'm tired, it doesn't look like I don't feel good, all those things. So at the point I'm at right here, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my Flower Beauty Seal the Deal Hydrating, Hydrating Setting Mist and I'm gonna spray my whole face. I absolutely love that spray. 
because it comes out so fine. It's such a good bottle. And now what I'm going to do, what I'm going to be using is the It Cosmetics Your Skin Bit Better CC Airbrush Perfecting Powder. This powder is um, can be sheer to full coverage. I love this powder. It feels just really creamy and smooth, and it does give a little bit of added coverage without being too heavy. The next thing I'm gonna show you is two different ways that you can go about setting your under eyes. I do not use a lot of powder because I feel like that powder will immediately dry me out, but I've already sprayed some hydrating setting spray on there. I just want it to not crease. So I'm going to show you first with this Aesthetica uh, H22 brush, and I'm going into that powder, and this brush is so, it's so fluffy. I can't even begin to tell you how light and airy and fluffy it is. So I'm picking up just a little bit of the powder and I'm just going across there and instead of swiping it, I am just like putting three dots on there to do that. Now, the other thing that you can do is you can take your dampened beauty blender and you can go into the side of the powder. You can pick up some of the powder and then go ahead and go underneath and set your, um, and set your concealer that way. I don't normally do that because I feel like that will put way too much down. That will put way too much powder down. Now, what I'm gonna do again is I'm gonna go in with the with this spray one more time and I'm gonna concentrate on the eye. I feel like when I do that, it will go ahead and it will take down again any of that dryness. So I want to make sure that I'm not putting too much powder on that area. Otherwise, it would just be looking dry and crepey and terrible by the end of the day. I find that once I do this routine, that I'm set for the day. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go off camera, I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup, and I will be right back with you. Okay, you guys, so that is it. That is the finished look. Go ahead and take a good look at the under eyes. I'm gonna squint for you guys so you can see what it's all about. <laughs> I'm gonna turn this light off for just a second. And you're not gonna be able to see very much, but maybe you can see, you know, what the under eyes are doing there. I do have a lot of creasing and I do have a lot of issues with my under eyes. But the thing is, is I try really hard not to let that get to me. And I hope that you guys kind of take away from this video that very thing is that even though you're aging, even though that under there, it might be a little bit um, te of texture, this technique doesn't have any creasing that goes along with it. So that really goes a long way as far as, you know, the way that it wears during the day and that I can be confident. Yes, I may have to touch up during the day once, but it does stay really well. So that's everything for today's video. I hope that you did enjoy it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. I appreciate you guys stopping by and sharing some of your time with me. Thank you so very much, and I will see you all in my very next video. Love ya, bye.